Okay guys, I'm here today with the uh, headlight replacement on a Chrysler PT Cruiser. And as you see, there's a nice trap door there. And the inner fender. What we're going to need is a flathead screwdriver to get in there. And help pry it out. There's the one. There's this one here. And then it just slides out of those tabs. There you go. Don't mind the wire mess. That's some aftermarket nonsense that uh, I still have to finish taking out. <sighs> anyway, I'm replacing just the low beam bulb, which is right here. Uh, you see the high beam is over here, but uh, anyway, I just need to grab on to the whole thing, and you want to turn it counterclockwise until it comes out of the lock, and boom, there it is. Just that easy. Now, what's not going to be easy is holding this baby steady. But anyhow, you have to also pry these up a little bit. Don't do this when it's cold. Uh, plastic likes to break. Uh, see if I can get this balanced. Just kind of just a little bit just enough and then you can pop it right on out of course I used the more expensive fancier bulbs I had to put the old stock bulb back in to get me through the night but uh, I already got dielectric grease there so we're good to go. Actually, you know what? Just to make sure that we get a good seal around the uh, silicone, I'm actually going to put a little bit in here. You don't want to put a whole lot because uh, you can initially cause a connection problem. But when done right it'll help keep these nice and sealed watertight that's that dielectric grease is actually for we can also put a little bit around this o-ring to help slip it into the headlight itself a lot easier Careful not to get this on the bulb. And we just lost my camera. Fantastic. Try this again. There we go. Now all you gotta do is uh, put the bulb back in. Give it a good push. Make sure it's in there. And then turn it. The camera doesn't want to cooperate with me today. But anyway. You turn it. It's in. Golden. And then just to put this uh, little shield back on. And you'll see these tabs. They kind of interlock. Okay. 
and you'll see the spots form right there. These damn wires. This is going to be my next adventure as soon as I get done here. But anyway, you want to slip those in there just like that. And it just snaps back in. Make sure you take good care of that seal that goes around the door because uh, you get any kind of water splash up, well, you know exactly what's going to happen there. It's always bad news. But there it is. That's how you get uh, a headlight bulb installed. Have a good one.